Israel's president, Ruvain Ruvi Rivlin, is on a mission to make sure that every Israeli, secular or religious, Arab or ultra-Orthodox, shares in the promise of the State of Israel. At a time when Israelis are divided into what he has called these four tribes, President Rivlin has put forth a bold vision termed Israeli Hope, whose goal is to bring Israelis of all backgrounds together to understand one another and to work toward a common future. And by including Jewish communities around the world as a fifth tribe, he has underscored the unbreakable bond that connects Jews with the miracle of a Jewish democratic Israel, wherever they may be. President Rivlin is uniquely qualified to unite this often fractious country. He is a seventh generation Jerusalemite, born and bred in the heart of the Holy City. His ancestor, Joshua Rivlin, built one of the first neighborhoods outside the old city walls. His father, Yosef Rivlin, was a professor of Oriental Studies at Hebrew University, famous for having translated the Quran into Hebrew. In 1967, and then again in 1973, Ruvain Rivlin joined with thousands of his countrymen in answering his nation's call, serving as an IDF intelligence officer in both wars. In civilian life, he trained as a lawyer, and then entered the Knesset in 1988 as a representative of the Likud, he quickly earned the respect of colleagues across the political spectrum. Fellow parliamentarians expressed their admiration by twice electing him speaker. Then, in 2014, members of all parties joined together to elect him as Israel's 10th president. He came to office at a particularly difficult moment, a time of violence between Arabs and Jews, a time when many questioned Israel's commitment to moderation and democracy. President Rivlin rose to the challenge. Breaking with the past, he was the first president to visit the Arab village of Kafr Qasim and participate in the annual memorial for 49 Arab Israelis tragically killed by Israeli border troops in 1956. A terrible crime was committed here, President Rivlin said. It is our duty to teach this difficult incident and to draw lessons. We are destined to live side by side and we share the same fate. If President Rivlin has been a source of national healing at home, he has been a powerful voice in the fight against anti-Semitism around the world, using his platform to bring an unprecedented gathering of presidents and prime ministers to Jerusalem for a special global forum to mark the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz. And in Washington and Jerusalem, he has met with American presidents of both parties to cement the bonds between our countries our leaders, and our nations. No other Israeli president has had the responsibility to oversee three national elections in a single year. Sadly, he carried out that difficult task while his beloved wife, Nahama, was in failing health. He persevered, and following her passing in June 2019, he has continued to address the issues that were close to her heart, from arts, literature, and culture, to protecting the environment supporting people with disabilities, and raising up the weakest segments of society. He has even continued her tradition of bringing cheesecake to Israeli soldiers on the Shavuot holiday. Through his leadership, integrity, and commitment to tolerance, President Rivlin has bound together Israel's boisterous society and helped it to thrive. He has set an example that inspires those at home and abroad who see in Israel a remarkable fusion of Jewish and democratic values. The Washington Institute is proud to honor him with its 2020 Scholar Statesman Award.